In this lesson we will be discussing charge, current, and electromotive force. Let's begin our discussion with charge. Charge is an excess or deficiency of electrons in a body. Charge may be either positive or negative. Unlike charges attract, like charges repel. According to Faraday's first law, derived through experiments with a silver nitrate solution, the mass of silver which leaves the anode and deposits on the cathode is directly proportional to the quantity of charge passing through the electrode. The SI unit of charge is the coulomb and represents the electrical charge carried by 6.24 times 10 to the 18th electrons. Thus the charge E possessed by a single electron is 1 over 6.24 times 10 to the 18th or 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th. Let's now turn our discussion to current. The flow of a charge is called electric current. The magnitude of the current, I, is the amount of charge Q passing through a conductor per unit time. Thus, coulombs equal amperes times seconds, and current is measured in amperes. Q is equal to I times T, therefore I is equal to Q divided by T. In accordance with Faraday's experiment with the silver nitrate solution, a current of one amp flowing for a time of one second, equivalent to a charge of one coulomb, will deposit a mass of 1.118 times 10 to the minus eighth kilograms per centimeter. This is called electrochemical equivalent and is denoted by the letter Z. The total mass liberated from the anode is given by M equals Z times L times T. Where M is equal to the mass, Z is equal to the electrochemical equivalent, I is equal to the current, and T is equal to time. Let's look at an example. A current of 3 amps flows through a nickel sulfate solution for 30 seconds. Calculate the mass liberated from the nickel anode. Z for nickel is equal to 3.04 times 10 to the minus 7th kilograms per centimeter. Using M equals ZLT, M is equal to 3.04 times 10 to the minus 7th times 3 times 30 or 2.74 times 10 to the minus 6th kilogram. Let's now discuss electromotive force. A voltage, a potential difference, can be produced by a number of electric generating devices such as batteries, electric generators, and photovoltaic cells. Electromotive force is the voltage developed across the terminals of a generating device when no current is flowing. Since work must be done in moving the electric charge through the circuit and consequently establishing the current, the generating device must supply the energy to do this work. The joule, W, is the basic unit of electric energy. One joule of work is done when an EMF of one volt drives a charge of one coulomb through the circuit. Thus, W equals Q times E, where W is equal to the work done in joules, Q the charge in coulombs, and E the EMF in volts. Since power is the rate at which work is done, power equals W divided by T, and since W equals Q times E, then power equals Q divided by T times E. And since I is equal to Q divided by T, then power P is equal to I times E. As an example, calculate the current in a 100 watt light bulb connected across a source of 120 volts. Power is equal to I times E. Therefore, I is equal to P divided by E, or 100 divided by 120, which equals 0.83 amps.